Now we'll continue installing Active Directory. We've gotten our summary, and if you watched the video installing Active Directory Part 1, we came right up to this point. I do want to point out here that as we went through that installation in Part 1, it starts to bring up all kind of questions about DNS and about various other aspects, functional levels, and we will get to those later on in the course. And you do need to understand those for the exam. Now notice we can export our settings to an answer file and that's for automated installs of Windows Server and that's actually covered in a different class. Now once we click Next, the wizard is now configuring Active Directory Domain Services. Now I like this, this is a classic Microsoft informational message. Notice this process can take from a few minutes to several hours depending on your environment and the options that you selected. So how long do I going to have to sit here and wait for this thing? It totally depends. Humidity, curvature of the earth, all kinds of things. So what I'll do is just kind of sit here and you'll notice that right now it's telling us it's waiting for DNS installation to finish. So it's going to set DNS up for us. Uh, I will warn you or advise you that on the exam you will see a fair amount of DNS questions and you do need to understand DNS. Now we're going to go through configuring DNS and some basics on DNS, but if DNS is a weak area for you, brush up on it. Uh, go out to Microsoft site, look at some of their white papers, dig into DNS in the Server 2008 uh, world. And while we've got a couple of minutes here, while this Active Directory installation is going, let me point out to you that a lot of times now when you go out to Microsoft site and you're looking for instructional information about DNS, for example. If there haven't been major changes since, say, the Server 2003, they will point you to white papers or to instructional information on Server 2003. That's fine. It's totally legitimate. It just simply means that what worked in 2003 works identically here, and there's been no major changes. If there's been minor changes, they will note those. However, don't ever just make that assumption and just jump out to a prior version. Make sure that you go looking for Server 2008 and it explicitly redirects you to a 2003 source. And a lot of times you'll go to the 2008 site and it will say, see the Server 2003 guide for whatever topic. Notice that it is installing the Group Policy Management Console because we're installing Active Directory, we're creating a forest and a domain here, and we are going to want to use group policy a little bit later on to help manage and administer uh, our users and computers and resources in this domain. And so it's going to install the group policy management console for us so that we can manipulate our group policy objects, and we'll see that in some different videos a little bit later on as well. One other thing that you're going to notice in Server 2008, it installs quickly. For example, I think I installed it on this box in 20 minutes or less. There's a lot of things that are redesigned to prevent you, the administrator, from having to sit and stare at this thing. Notice we can tell it to reboot on completion so that we don't have to sit here and then answer a goofy question and then agree to reboot. But in this instance, since we're trying to learn, we will just sit here and watch it and answer all the goofy questions. Now notice it is creating a directory partition and we're starting to see some of the LDAP type things and notice there's 1060 objects remaining there was 1300 and something just a couple of seconds ago we're now down to uh, 869 so we're progressing through this pretty quickly and those objects we will get to a little bit later when we talk about the objects in Active Directory and some of the things that we can do with Active Directory now, as you can tell, installing Active Directory is not exactly rocket science. You don't have to really understand the inner workings of Active Directory. However, the more hands-on you've had with it, the, the more comfortable you're going to be. And make sure that before you go take the test that you actually do a couple of these installations. Read everything in the wizard and just make sure it all kind of makes sense to you and you, you're familiar with it because you will get questions on the exam guaranteed about uh, installing Active Directory. Now it's doing some other things here, setting the local security account policy. It's going through some security setups here. It's configuring the DNS server service. It will uh, put that out there, get it started, start it up on the machine. 
and just like that notice Active Directory is now installed on this computer for the domain VTC class and we'll talk about site names a little later I will click finish and I will restart now and at this point we have installed Active Directory